to the WFSU Summer Challenge kickoff. We have got some awesome presenters here for you today, and our next one starts right now. We've got Bonnie Aguilera here with us today. Bonnie is over the Education, Information, and Outreach sections of the Manatee section at Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. Today we're going to be talking about manatee awareness and personal safety when you're in the water. Welcome, Bonnie. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm glad to see everyone here. Um, and I hope everyone's having a, a great day. Uh, like Megan said, my name is Bonnie Abalera. I've worked for over uh, 20 years with the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. So today I'm going to um, talk a little bit about manatee awareness and also go over some safety things that you can do when you're out on the water um, where manatees are located. So I'll be going over some life jacket safety and on each of the chairs here, um, I put a little brace, bracelet that says life jackets save lives. So um, if you have any questions, I'll be willing to, to take some at the end. And let's get started. Now, obviously, we have a very large manatee here. And this, um, this is Manny the manatee. And he's, go he's gonna be around here today so you can take pictures with him later. Um, and I'm, I'm part of a large group of people who take care of Florida's manatees. Uh, many years ago when I started, there was only about 1,200 manatees that they counted in Florida. And this past year, uh, they counted over 6,600 manatees. So um, I would like to invite you to do your part to look out for and take care of manatees in Florida's environment too. So, so what is a manatee? Manatee is a mammal. And it's, a, it, it's an aquatic mammal. It can live in fresh water and it can live in salt water. So it can, it can travel um, to any of the coastal areas. Um, it lives in rivers or springs. It lives in estuaries. Um, and, and it can go back and forth uh, between salt water and fresh water because it breathes air. It doesn't have to. Um, filter um, water through gills or anything like that. It's got, the animal has lungs, um, so it's able to breathe air and it can live in a, a wide variety of, of water bodies. It's also been known to travel through canal systems. So it's, it's able to get anywhere where it can get its bodies through, in, through an area. Um, and so manatees are, a eat aquatic plants. So they, they don't have to chase their food. They don't have to hunt any, any, anything to eat. So they just have to find um, seagrass or, or any floating plants that they can eat. And let's see. And this manatee is probably about the average size of a manatee. Um, but Manatees can weigh up to 3,000 pounds. So if you took all the people sitting here in this, this little area, it's probably not even to the, the amount of weight that one manatee can weigh. So that, that's quite a lot of, of weight to, to think of being in the water when, when you're out boating. So what I wanted to encourage you to do is when you're out in the water and you do see manatees is that you keep keep your distance from the manatees and one of the reasons is if you disturb a manatee that's resting you're kind of like waking them up from a sleep and the animal's going to freak out and start splashing and making all kind of waves so you need to make sure that you're not near um, near them when they do that because if you're in a boat, then you can get tipped out of the boat. So one of the things that I'd like to do is to make sure that um, you wear a life jacket. So we're gonna get um, someone up here to try on a life jacket. So can we get the gentleman in the front row to come up? 
Okay. Yeah. Now just try the small one on. Okay. And what we'd like to encourage you is to find a life jacket that fits that fits you. So this one this one looks like it's going to fit really well. You get when anytime you're out on the water and you're underway and underway means that the boat is moving, you need to make sure that your life jacket is on and it and that it fits snugly. Can we can we get another uh, volunteer up here? Okay, we're going to have to recruit. All right. Now, what we have here, um, the other life jacket is an adult size life jacket. And you you don't want to put an adult size life jacket on a child. Can I get you to move up where I can see you guys? Just kind of get up closer. Okay, and, and the reason why you don't want to put an adult size life jacket on, the, on a child is if you have to jump in the water and pretend you're jumping like this. Okay, now. See what happens with the life jacket. Can go ahead and pull it off. So she's jumping in the water. That's obviously going to come off. And like you've got gravity, you're going to keep going down. The life jacket's going to stay up on the water. So you need to make sure that when you're out on the water, you you get the right size life jacket for for the children. You can go ahead and take them off. So um, the other thing that I wanted to talk about was personal space. So when you're out in the, in the wild and you see a wild animal, you don't run up and, and get a photo op like you would do here because these are wild animals. So you want to you wanna keep your distance. So who's got a, a brother or sister and you sit in the back seat of a car? All right. Um, do you sometimes feel like they're in your space? And you fight and you guys like get away, you know? Well, you know, keep that in mind because you want to give the, the wild animals space too. You don't want to get to where they're feeling uncomfortable and they don't want you around. So, and what happens is sometimes the animals will get a little defensive. And with manatees, they'll, they'll turn over or they, they might use their tail and, and swim away really fast. And if um, a manatee that's 3,000 pounds hits you with the tail, that's gonna, it's gonna hurt. So we wanna make sure that we give animals space and just need to, you know, just give them space. And so what I'd like you to repeat after me, or just say three times, is keep manatees safe, give them space. 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 So when you're, when you're out, on a boat, you know, keep that in mind because we, we don't want to crowd the manatees. We don't want to separate mothers from their calves. Um, we don't want to um, startle them awake to where they are going to overturn your boat and then you're going to end up in the water going, okay, you know, what else is in the water out here? So you need to just kind of make sure that you look out for the wild animals. Um, and let's see, you wear the appropriate size life jacket. So let's see, I had a, a hand up. Do you have a qu question that you wanted to ask? But you're gonna have to get up close because I can barely hear. Nope, okay. All right, so what can you do to help manatees? We have out on the table um, in the lobby area, we've got some some brochures that are available. Um, so if you would, if you're interested in learning more about manatees, we've got one here that's called Guidelines for, 
for protecting native wildlife, Florida manatees. And this is for all boat, personal watercraft, paddle sport operators, and for divers and snorkelers. So that pretty much covers everyone who gets in the water. And then we also have another one that's a boater's guide to living with Florida manatees, and this is mostly um, boater related. And the other cool thing that we have um, is another brochure called Where Are Florida's Manatees? And this brochure has a, an open up poster where you can see all the various places around Florida where you can see manatees. And what we created for this event today, we have in the passport that, you're, that you get out on the table, we have a separate little tour that you can take. It's a manatee cultural art treasure, manatee cultural art treasure quest. And it will take you to um, several places um, in Leon, Franklin, and Wakulla counties where you can see cultural art um, items that, that reflect manatees. So that's something that's posted on our website. It's pretty cool. We're excited about it. And we hope people will get out there and enjoy themselves this summer. Um, so what are some things that you can do to help with manatee conservation? Well, one of the things that you'll learn today is that um, everyone thinks that cleaning up the waterways and the shorelines is very important, and we encourage you to do that for manatees, too. And the other thing is responsible wildlife watching. So, and, and what that entails is um, just making sure that you keep your distance whenever you're out um, on the waterways or whenever you see wildlife. So that's basically all I've got today. If anyone has any questions, um, feel free to ask them. And then you're welcome to come up and get your picture taken with uh, mani Manatee. Thank you.